Hi guys, welcome back to day 33 of 7th grade ELA online learning. You are doing two things today. You are doing your 30 minutes of self-selected reading through the Mid-Continent Public Library or with a book of your choice. You are also going to build some vocabulary today. So I have loaded the Mid-Continent Public Library website. I have typed in teens and I've gone to um, Great Beginnings, which is first books in a series. I have quite a few students who really like series books, like when you find an author you like, um, you want to continue with that. So I have pulled up those that are available to teens. Don't forget ebooks are books that you are going to read once you download, and audiobooks like the Grimm Lovelies, Grimm's Fairy Tales, are audiobooks that will read aloud to you, or you can just plug in with headphones and listen to it. So all of the books that you see here are first in a series. I am working on the second one to catch a killer right now at home. So that one is pretty good. I liked to catch a killer. Um, as I scroll through here, Monster looks interesting. Haven't seen that one before. That's an ebook. Um, and again, if you like audio books, as I scroll through here, not seeing a ton that are available as audiobook today on the day I'm recording this. Um, other than the lovelies right there. But you can definitely find them as you scroll through because there are over 350 books that they have on first in a series. So you're going to do your 30 minutes of self-selected reading. So I'm going to highlight what you are doing right here. So 30 minutes with a book of your choice, and then we want you to talk about conflict. So you're going to journal the type of conflict that your main character is facing. We have done this type of thing before. So if you are on the same book, they might be facing the same type of conflict. It might still be person versus person, or by this point in your story, it could be person versus nature or person versus society. If you're on a different book, then you are identifying for the first time what the conflict is. Once you have done that, we want you to journal a time you have faced a conflict and identify what it is. If I have gotten into an argument with my parents over curfew or doing chores, that's person versus person. If I've gotten in trouble at school at some point, that might be person versus society. So you're going to read for 30 minutes, journal the conflict that your character is facing, and then you're going to write down a time when you have faced a conflict and identify what type of conflict that is. So pause it so that you can do your 30 minutes of reading, and then I'll be right back with you. All right, great job, guys. You have done your 30 minutes of reading. We are going to practice building our vocabulary. You're going to use the website freerice.com to build vocabulary. If you've not ever played this game before, let me click on that for you. You pull up free rice. You click through their privacy settings. And then you just match. On this one, difficulty means that something might be giving me trouble. Okay, and it will just click through there, and every time you get a word correct, it adds a little grain of rice. You can play this game for as long as you'd like. Um, if you have younger friends or family, you could have them play it. You can play it as a team and to see who can get the most vocabulary words correct. But once you are done playing freerice.com, you are done with 7th grade ELA for today. I'll see you later, guys.